Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Previously, we have implemented login and sign up with email and password using Flutter and Firebase. We also covered how we can keep our user logged in even after the app is being restarted. This video is focused on email verification because Firebase won't automatically verify the email with which you create your user account. So what we have to do, we have to verify it manually because if you want to reset your password, so a link is sent to your email, but if it isn't verified and it is not a legitimate one, so the email will be lost and won't be sent to that email. So we need to verify the email. For sign in with Google or sign in with Facebook, we won't need to do that because it has been verified by the Google and Facebook. But for simple email and password authentication, we need this email verification. But before diving to that, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please make sure to like, share and subscribe my channel if you like my videos. Now, uh, for those who are newcomers to my channel and this is the first video for them. So let me explain a bit of the logic that I have set up here. Uh, let's go to the sign up screen first. Uh, here we have these three text fields and the sign up button. Whenever the sign up is tapped, this handler is called. Uh, in this handler, what we are doing, we have create an auth service instance here and we are calling this create user with email and password method that takes the email and password from these text fields and create a user for us. And then we navigator.pop, which means that we move a screen back in order to uh, move to this wrapper screen. Here in the wrapper screen, I have used this stream which is the auth state changes whenever there's a change in the auth state so this will be triggered this builder is called and here we check this value which is this uh, user and if this user equals to null which means the user is not logged in currently so we should uh, see the login screen and when this uh, data is not null which means the user is logged in and we navigate to the home screen so with sign up we move a screen back so that to call this method and our ui updates if the user is logged in so he moves to the home screen and whenever we create a user so it is logged in by default so when i move back from the sign up screen here it comes and the user is not null now and it goes to the home screen so that's a bit of the logic and here in the auth service we have implemented our uh, logic for uh, user creation and login user here we will also add an other method for the uh, email verification link i will uh, create a method that returns future word and it will be send verification link or it will be send email verification link it will be an async method and here i'll put a try catch block in order to catch any error that may occur during the flow i will print it and i will use the e dot to string to print it to the console and here i will put my logic i use await and here i have the firebase auth instance created we can also get the current user that is logged in using this instance so which is with the property auth dot current user and with this we can use the send email verification and uh, we the current user can be null because if the user is logged out so it will be null so here we need to put this as well so that to make sure our user is logged in and this is the logic for sending email verification link uh, here we have the current user and we are directly sending the email verification by taking the email from this current user that is logged in that is the logic for sending email for verification and now uh, let's implement this on the screens we have a verification screen here uh, where we are showing a text that we have sent an email verification and we are uh, we have providing a button if the email has not been received so that uh, this uh, button should be pressed in order to uh, resend the email now uh, here in the wrapper whenever a new user uh, signs up we need to check if the email is being verified so he should move to the home screen if not verified so he should verify it first uh, so here we will add a check if 
the snapshot dot data which is the user uh, dot has email verified equals to true which means email verification has been done so he should see the home screen which is here he should see this home screen if verified here we need to add this as well because the user can be null if logged out and here if uh, the email is not being verified so here we should see the verification screen to verify our email and the verification screen has been created here now let's trigger the logic from the email verification screen here whenever our this whenever the screen is built uh, we need to send the email to the user so i will create an instance of auth service here and uh, the, whenever the screen is created this init state is called once and i will use the auth instance to uh, send email verification link and uh, this link will be sent whenever we navigate to that screen but if the user has uh, not received the link due to some problem so we will provide this recent email button and here when it is tabbed we will also resend the email verification link but we have a problem here uh, the link will be sent to the user and uh, the user will verify through the link but how will the app know that the email has been verified there is no automatic mechanism just like we have here in the wrapper for logged in or logged out states uh, it automatically triggers and the screen is updated the ui is updated according to the state change but for email verification we have to add something manually what we can do is that we can add a scheduler here that will reload the user data after every five seconds and fetches the newly uh, reloaded data and then we will uh, check the email verified field if that is set to true which means email has been successfully verified so we will be navigating back to this wrapper screen uh, actually there is a wrapper screen on our navigation stack we will uh, remove that and we will put uh, a new we will push a new wrapper screen on that in order to execute this builder manually and then with the newly data email verified will be set to true and so that to navigate to the home screen after email verification so that's all manual work because uh, it is not supported by this uh, a stream so now here let's create a timer i will create a late variable which will be of type timer and let's give the name of timer uh, let's uh, use the async and here uh, when the email verification link is set i will use this timer uh, to set a timer dot periodic and i will set a duration that will be five seconds and here this is the callback function that will be executed after every five seconds because it is peri periodic and here i will put my logic so uh, whenever five seconds complete and it triggers uh, what will happen that i will use the firebase auth dot instance dot uh, current user to get the current user and then i will use the reload to reload the user data and now i will fetch the user data again which will be uh, that instance dot current user and i will check for email verified flag uh, let's wrap it in an if block here if and this will be a question mark here uh, sorry let's put an exclamation here and here if it is equal to true which means that after reloading the data we found out that uh, our email has been verified so here what i will do i will use the navigator dot push replacement to remove the previously added wrapper screen and we'll use the material page route to navigate to the wrapper screen again but this time the screen uh, is a new one the previous has been removed i will use the wrapper screen here so we are doing everything manually and we are manually checking if email is being verified if verified go to wrapper again in order to call this uh, builder method manually so that's the logic for that uh, and after our email has been verified and we, we will do we also need to 
cancel this timer because uh, if we don't cancel it it will uh, execute this logic repeatedly so which will uh, cause problem for us so i will cancel it here so verification complete cancel this timer we don't need it anymore and our ui won't be disturbed and other logic as well then we go to the wrapper so when verified and we go to the wrapper so this time the data fetch here will contain it to true so we won't go to verification screen but home screen so let's try this logic now i will restart the app and here uh, let's go to sign up here give some random name then here provide a legitimate email if you don't provide a legitimate uh, no link will be sent then we will set a password and uh, let's step on sign up let's see what happens and email has been sent let's see if i receive the email waiting for the email yes i have received an email here oh uh, let's open the email here i have been provided a link to verify my email i will tap on that link and let's see what happens mm -hmm. it's loading your email has been verified let's see if the changes are reflected here after five seconds yes we have done it we have created a user and then we have verified the email that a user provided and after the verification process we have logged the user in that was the topic and the implementation for today's video in the next video i will be covering forgot password functionality and this step is crucial for that because if you enter wrong uh, email then forgot password won't work so uh, it is kind of uh, adding the legitimacy of user and his uh, identity i would also add a note that uh, here if you can see in the verification screen i have used the firebase instance instead of creating one here at the top i have used uh, these uh, instances two times uh, it is because that there's a bug in this uh, reload function if you use it with the same instance like if you create here one instance and you use it for both uh, the uh, both the use cases for email verified flag and the reload so you won't have the updated data here if you use the same instance that's why i have created an instance here and an other instance here so this is a bug in the firebase functionality so that is a tip and that's it for today's video see you in the next video goodbye